Hi, Turner Tech. I wanted to provide you um, some instructions on how to use bulbs specifically for your capstone projects. So the first thing you need to do is log into your bulb account, which you can do by going to bulbapp.com. And you're going to click sign in in the upper right hand corner. And all the student and teacher accounts are connected via your Clever account, so you'll just click this Clever button. Now I'm not connected to Clever, so I'm going to sign in with Google. And there you go. You should be in your account. And each individual can update their banner photo, their avatar, just put their cursor here to start typing in their description, and this personalizes their portfolio. So the next thing you're going to want to do is copy the template that we created for you guys for your capstone project. So I provided the link for you, and you're just going to come in here into the top of your web browser, and you're going to paste in or type in that link that I provided and it's going to take you to that Elements of Research paper for Capstone Project. So you have that right here. And in the banner of the photo, you'll see it says Use Template. This is going to copy the entire collection and all the pages in it into my portfolio. So I'm going to click on Use Template. It says Copying, OK. And it took me back to my profile page, my own portfolio, but I don't see it yet. Because one other thing I need to do is I need to refresh my web browser with this little refresh icon. Once I do that, now if I scroll down, now I see that elements of a research paper for Capstone. Now this lives in my portfolio. It's ready for me to be able to build my Capstone project in it. So when I click open this collection, collections are like folders. They're going to um, house multiple pages. Pages is where all the different work happens. You'll notice we have several pages. We have our capstone technical paper timeline. And this is just a resource for students on the timeline that they need to keep up with for their capstone. And then if I go to the bottom and I click the next, here's the parent letter. Now I can um, upload that parent letter by putting my cursor on the page and hitting enter and then clicking file attachment, browse. And now I um, can select that PDF of my signed parent letter. Um, I'm just gonna grab a different PDF and upload it However that parent letter is signed, I could take a picture of the parent letter and insert it as an image. And so all of a sudden I have that parent letter in there. I can put in my mentor. Now all these say unpublished, don't worry about that. So mentor contact. And so on. So I can start to be completing um, my portfolio as I go along in those different elements that I need to have. Now you keep noticing that it says do I want to publish, do I want to publish. So everything in my portfolio right now is unpublished. It's in draft form and you can tell that by the little orange arrows here. This means teachers can't see anything, only I can see stuff. Um, and so I do need to publish. And the best way to do that is actually to start at the collection level. So I am in my Elements of Research paper for Capstone Project. I click on this More right here, More right in that banner. And then I get to decide who I want to make my um, Capstone Project visible to. And so here is really where you're going to want to probably um, make it visible um, either to your Miami-Dades organization, which means anyone with a Bulb account in Miami-Dades would be able to uh, would able to see Bulb or your Capstone project. If students aren't ready for others to be able to see their Capstone project, the other option they can do is to search for user and publish directly to their teacher. 
So what they can do is they can actually type in the teacher's bulb username. Now I can come in here and I can search for my teacher, Mr. Jones. His username is Chris Jones and I select him right here. And see now it pops up here in that visible to section. So now it says, hey, I wanna make this visible to my teacher. If I wanna make it visible to anyone else, then I can continue um, to add another teacher like Miss Daniels and have that up in the visible to section as well. So you can have multiple people that you can publish this entire collection to. <clears throat> and you might ask, how do you know your username? As a teacher or a student, how do you know your username? Well, it's super simple. When you click, when you are on your profile page, that's your main landing page, I'm going to go back there to show you. So this is my main page. You'll notice the browser at the top says bulbapp.com slash Bria. Bria is my username. Anything after that slash is your username. You can also find your username in settings as well. So I'm going to go back to my elements of research paper and capstone. I'm going to click on the more. And you notice, okay, this collection is visible here. And now what I'll need to do is once I have the parent letter done, I'll open up that page. And all I do is hit the blue publish icon. And you'll see in the visible to it already picks up what I had put at the collection level, Flatirons, Chris, and Nikki. But it's not completely published yet. These are all in gray. And so as if I click publish down here, now that page of my capstone will be published to that audience. There we go, you'll notice it says published down here in the bottom corner. And I will need to go and do that for each page that I complete in my capstone to be able to have those published so that, I, um, so that my teachers can be able to see my work. Now, I have a little trick for teachers on how they can easily keep track of the capstones that they need to review. So I'm going to actually um, click the Bulb logo. The Bulb logo will always take you back to your main um, portfolio page. That's your profile. And when you click on the three lines in the upper right-hand corner, that's your hamburger. You'll notice starting on the left-hand side that you have an activity feed, so you'll be able to see if um, students are publishing work to you. You can also click on your groups. Now, we get your classes sent um, over nightly, and we populate those groups automatically for you. So those are for your classes. So if you had, say, your first period class in here, Now you'll notice that there's two menus. There's the members menu right here. And this is um, where I think the teachers will really appreciate. In the members menu, you'll have all of your students for your first period class. And you can always click on any of those students and see any of their published pages or collections. And so then you can review the work that they have done in their portfolio and specifically in their capstone project. And you may ask, well, um, you know, maybe I, I want to be able to look and make sure they have everything. So again, if I go to another student in here, I can, um, I can click on Jess and then I can click on um, her, you know, Bulb 101, this is a collection, so she's going to have pages within this collection. And so think about this as her capstone, and I could come in here, and I could look at each of her pages and mark that off. What has she done? I can review it. Um, I can go to the next page and see, does she have the next part of the portfolio? And if I really needed to, 
Now, this is a very multimedia platform, and we're encouraging students to bring it in a multimedia way with embeds and um, videos and audio files and things like that. But if I really wanted to as a teacher, I could go up into my web browser and do file, print, and I could actually print off. But you do have to print each page on its own. So my recommendation would be that you really view it digitally and not um, print it out. But I wanted you to know that you have that option. I can always um, click the view collection right here to go back and view the rest of her portfolio. And so that's the way that you can go through and look at your um, as your students work and easily think about those groups. I'm going to go back to my group again. Think about that members list in your group as a bookmark to all of their portfolios. Now, maybe you're reviewing portfolios that aren't in a particular class. The ones you're responsible for aren't in first period or fifth period. You can go to your groups and you can create a group, your very own group. And this could be everyone for your capstones. And I can create this group. <clears throat> and I can add members to my group in two ways. I can add students by email address by just typing it in. Or I can give this code to students, write it up on the board, email it to them, however you want to provide it to them. And then as a student, the student would click on their hamburger menu and go to their groups. And they would click on this gray join group icon down here. And they would just enter that code and click join. And since I'm the owner of a group, it won't let me join. But it would add them to their group. And so that's a way for you to keep track of all the students that you're responsible for for your capstone project. So we have a lot of um, additional great resources that I will email out to you in terms of how you create pages and add multimedia um, and um, different ways that you can organize your portfolios. But hopefully that gives you the information that you needed specifically to kind of help you move through your capstone projects.